Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Hello everybody, welcome back to another great episode of The Noble Way here. It is Christmas morning, December 25th. Uh, actually, it's Christmas afternoon because we had an amazing early breakfast, uh, Christmas unwrapping presents, and we decided to come over to Epcot for the rest of the day, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So happy holidays to everybody, whatever you celebrate, but thanks for joining us. It's going to be another great episode. We're going to spend Christmas Day here, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're going to ride some rides. We're going to do Festival of the Holidays. Uh, we're going to try and catch the fireworks. We haven't seen the fireworks for a while. We haven't seen the fireworks since the pre-show. Since, the, since opening night. Oh, was it opening night? Yeah, the, the, the premiere grand opening night, we saw the fireworks. Or maybe it was like the preview. It was the preview. I think it was yeah. like preview day. But we haven't seen them since. So we're going to see them again tonight. We're going to hang out. Uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, we're at Club Cool with our daughter, and she's not actually got to try any of these new flavors here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what she thinks. I like this one. That's my favorite. This is bananas. Oh, the banana one is awesome. I like this one in brown. This is tropical fruit, but it tastes like bananas. Yeah, it kind of tastes like cream soda, I feel like. You'll probably love the China one. Did you just do the bonbon? Did you just do the bonbon? The delicious China. <laughs> Sour plum flavor she's about to try. Here, cheers. Max, what cheers. What is it? Sour plum tea? Yeah. Max, cheers. Cheers. Would Max get the plum too? Yeah. He got the plum. Unfortunately. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? You know in Spaceship Earth where the wood's burning? That's what it tastes like. <laughs> it, it does. Kind of, it tastes <laughs> like what that smells like. Alright, I'm good on that, everything that I ever just tasted. Ew. It tastes like barbecue chips. <laughs> it really does. It's so like, bad. It's not like a beef jerky. Alright, try to Beverly. One, two, three, cheers. Um, no. One's like pink. What do you think? Carbonated dirt. But why is it looking as bad as, as like, Because you had the Because you had the plum. I guess that is and then, worse. And then that just shut it down. Yeah. I didn't drink it. Ew, but the aftertaste. I need the water. I need yeah, the water. It's the aftertaste. It's bad. I only get... Hi. We just got the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure virtual queue for 1 o'clock p.m. So, I mean, ours, ours is like 5 o'clock p.m., mm -hmm. but we did the 1 o'clock. We were going to do the 7 a.m. one, but we decided to risk it because we knew we had, like, we had Christmas, you know, uh, breakfast and opening all the presents and everything. We were like, if we do the 7 o'clock a.m. one and we get it, we'll probably do get, like, the 9.30 boarding group. And I was like, we won't mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Because we got to do Christmas. So, um and then if you get the if you get the 7 a.m. one, and then you can't get the 1 p.m. one, mm -hmm. so you, you we would have been we'd have missed out. So we decided, you know what? Let's just risk it. We'll go to Epcot. We'll try the 1 p.m. one. See if we can get it. If we don't, then we don't get to ride it. But it worked out. It worked out, and she's never ridden it before. Yep, wow. I'm super excited. So she's excited. We're excited. We get to ride Rad Remy's Ride to the Adventure. So woohoo! <laughs> Welcome to the Imagination Institute. If you actually look through these doors right here, that actually, uh, that little window right there is in the image works on the other side. So when you come off the ride, if you walk around and you look to your left, there will be this little window you can peek through and it actually looks through over here into the line. So that's kind of cool. There's Dr. Nigel Channing and Figment. Fun fact, he, uh, he is one of the uh, OG comedians from back in the day, uh, part of the uh, Monty Python and all that era. He's actually never ridden this ride before. All right, so I think we're gonna try and hit Figment a little bit later. We tried to hit it just now, and we've got about a few minutes into the line, and it busted, broke down. So I definitely ain't waiting for that ride to come back up because that is usually like a five to ten minute wait. We had already waited five to ten minutes and it hadn't even moved an inch. So it's broken. They just announced it's broken. So we'll come back later and do that. But I'm not trying to wait 45 minutes for Figment. Living with the land. Living with the land. Wow, it doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime in here, it's dark. <laughs> to help us maintain these carefully controlled eco 
ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. All right, let's head into Soren here. 55 minutes. Let's see what it ends up being. We just rode Living with the Land, and it said it was about 25 to 30 minute wait. 25, I think. It ended only being like 10 or 15 minute wait, so it wasn't too bad. Soren, baby, here we go. How many? How long? 20, 20 minutes. It said 55 minute wait. It was 20 minutes to get to right here. We're about to go in. All right, let's head into the seas with Nemo and friends. 20 minute wait. There's Crush. Hey, you guys made me ink. He's eating, or she, I don't know. Man, that stingray is a monster. That's the biggest stingray I've ever seen in my life. Please don't let your imaginations run wild. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad durante su estadía en nuestros laboratorios. Mina. Right over here is the little window. If you look through it, 
you can see that over there on the other side is the line that we just walked through. Oh boy, I have been wanting to try this for weeks now. Every time I walk by Canada and I walk by that little booth, oh, the smell of this maple popcorn makes me like so hungry. And But I'm always so full when we walk by it that I can't get it because I'm so full. Um, so, and I don't ever want to take it home because it comes in this. And I don't want to get like a giant souvenir thing and I don't want to take it home because it gets like stale. Um, so I've been dying to try it here like fresh. And this was finally the day, folks. This was finally the day. Yum. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yum. It's kind of like caramel popcorn a little bit, but like not quite as like caramel. Like it's like partially. I don't know how to describe it, but it's got like a partial glaze on it. It's not like, you know, caramel popcorn, like the whole popcorn kernel is like covered in it. But this like, it's like almost like, I don't know if I dropped that piece. But it's almost like a piece of popcorn with a little bit of like drizzle on it. And it's like maple leaf flavored. Oh man, it's so good. Yum. It's as good as I thought it was gonna be, it's so good. And this giant thing, I think, was like six dollars or six twenty-five or something. It would have been a better deal to get the refillable popcorn thing. They got the Christmas tree right now. I think that was like twelve bucks or something. It's only like a couple bucks to refill it, but I don't really kind of play carrying the big giant Christmas tree around with me. Let's try this popcorn. Move. Try it. Yeah, he liked it. What is it? It's not like caramel corn. It's good. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's maple popcorn. I never had maple popcorn before and I love it. That's really good. It's in Canada, right? Yeah, it's kind of like caramel popcorn, but like not, like... Not as sweet. So good, yeah. Almost like kettle corn a little bit, but yeah. like, I don't know. And what'd you get to drink over there? A teeny. Oh, she got the Kahlua teeny double from Joffrey's again. That's like her favorite drink here. That Kahlua teeny is so good. And you got? I always have to get an iced vanilla latte. Iced vanilla latte from Joffrey's, man. Joffrey's is a place. I don't care. They got the best coffee. They really do. I know there's a lot of Starbucks fans out there. Joffrey's where it's at. Watch our, um, we did a video on Starbucks versus Joffrey's. I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description. Check that video out. There's a lot of Starbucks fans that I think are sleeping on Joffrey's. And, um, I, and I love Starbucks, and this is still better, so. I mean, Starbucks has more variety of stuff to choose from, but Joffrey's coffee is busting. Anyway, check out the video. It's pretty good. All right, we're going to catch this Beauty and the Beast sing-along. We've never done this before. We never got to do this because the one time we tried to do the Beauty and the Beast sing-along, it was right after it switched over to the uh, French show. It's at a certain time at night, it switches over from Beauty and the Beast to sort of the standard show that they usually have in here. And that show was honestly very boring. It was like 20 minutes of my life I wish I had back, so I'm excited to see the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Okay, so that Beauty and the Beast sing-along was infinitely better than the uh, French show that we saw in there. I don't even remember the name of it. I blocked it from my memory. Uh, infinitely better. It was really cute. It went through like the major songs from the movie. It was a cute little twist on it where like LeFou was the hero of the movie. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. And it was a nice little sing-along. There's a lot of people singing with the music, singing all the favorite songs. So that's pretty good. I think give it a shot. Just make sure you get here before a certain time because then it tips over. I don't. I think the time changes, but um, we get to see it. So Beauty and the Beast sing along. I loved it. All right, it's finally time. We are headed to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Woo! I'm excited. I haven't ridden this for a little while. We've been here a bunch of times. I just we we rarely ever get a virtual queue because. 
and I'll play again up at 7 o'clock in the morning to try to get one. So, yeah, I'm excited. Dun, 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 dun. What did you think? This was her first time riding it. First time. I loved it. It was so cute. You liked it? It was good? Yeah. It was cute? She loves riding through the movie, so. Yeah. It's a cute little ride. I love it. It's like nice and relaxing. It's like kind of chill, but also fun and a little bit rambunctious. What? It's cool how they make you feel like you're moving when you're actually not. Yeah. I like how like the whole time you're like underneath like little tables and then there's like a rolling cart at one point. You're underneath that and then you're underneath the stove. You can see the fire above you. Yeah. You're like a little mouse the whole the whole way through. I like it. It's cute. Yum. We had to stop at Lahain there and pick up the potato latkes again. Yummy. Can't wait to dig into these babies. They look a little bit different than last time we had them, but they're like a little bit thinner and crisper looking. I don't know, but they still look like they're going to be delicious. So I'm excited. Yummy, yummy. Oh yeah, we got the cheese fondue again from the Bavaria Pavilion here, Bavaria Holiday Kitchen, Germany. Yum. Okay, I've had my eye on this thing for a while. Oh, coconut pineapple Dole Whip cake. Yummy. I'm starved, I can't wait to dig into this thing. It smells good, it looks good. Let's try it. Yummy. Okay, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of little gnats right here, so I'm gonna eat it back here. <laughs> Give it a rip. That Dole Whip on top is good. Yeah. Come over here, we. Yum. The Dole Whip just tastes good. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's good, but I think the Dole Whip flavor just yeah. steals the show. So yeah, I mean it's good all together, but the Dole Whip and then the cake and they're mm -hmm. they're both kind of good separately, but even together it's fine. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I think it was only like five bucks too, so it's pretty cheap. Yeah, I think I would probably just rather have a regular Dole Whip yeah. though than the cake. When you try it together, you really can't taste the cake. Yeah, when it's much. together, all you can taste is the Dole Whip. I feel like. The coconut just gets lost because coconut's kind of like a mild flavor. Yeah. But um, eating the cake separately though, the cake's good. I feel like they need to be separated. Yeah. Let's do Mission Space. Haven't done this ride in a while because I don't know why. It's just, it's all right. It used to be a lot better when it spun full speed. And I also don't like the new version of this ride very much. I think the old version was a lot better with uh, Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. I really like that version of this ride. This version of the ride, not my favorite. Um, it's just not as good. All of us here at Mission Control wish you a safe journey around the planet. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Stand by five minutes. <laughs> Let's do it. Spaceship Earth. With your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs 
Spaceship Earth. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a big success. Christmas Day in the books, Epcot. We closed it down. Like, we, we were here the whole day from, like, noon to, to closing it down at 10 o'clock. It's like 10.30 right now because we watched the fireworks. But we literally rode everything in the park. The only thing we didn't ride was Test Track because it was broke down for, like, four hours at the end of the night, and that was it. We couldn't do anything about it. And Frozen, which was a 135-minute wait pretty much the whole day. Everything else was like 10 to 30 minutes. I mean, we even the things that said 30 or 40 minutes, we waited like 15 or 20 minutes for. So like everything else, 10 to 15 minutes, frozen, 135 minutes. I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but we, um, we watched the fireworks again for the first time since the premiere of the fireworks. And I have to say, it was better. better. I'm not going to lie. The first, the, bridge in the, back. <laughs> the first time we saw them, I was like, it was aight. Like, it was aight. Yeah. It was cute, you know, I wasn't like blown away like, you know, wishes back in the day or even happily ever after. But it was much better this time. I feel like they pumped up the fireworks. We had a way better spot. I thought our spot was decent last time. It was busted compared to what this one was. Uh, we had a really good spot. We were in the bridge in the back um, right to, if you're facing the Candlelight Processional, the American Theater, it was to the right. There's like these bridges there and we were up there. We had like a perfect view. There was nobody in front of us. It was awesome. So anyhow, thanks for joining us. It's Christmas Day. Closing another Christmas in the books. All day long at Epcot. Couldn't have been happier. I think this is the best park we could have chosen for Christmas. A lot of great food. A lot of great rides. We rode everything in the park. Thanks for joining us. Until tomorrow, we will see you again. The noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.